Mesdames, Messieurs, je vous demande d'applaudir Joe Cocker et Tony Joe White qui est là avec nous ce soir et ils nous font Rainy Night in Georgia. Trying to find a warm place to spend the night Heavy rainfall Seems I hear you come Everything's alright Take out my old guitar to pass some time. Late at night when it's hard to rest, I'll hold your picture to my chest. Cocker et Tony Joe White. Hi, it's nice to 
Fabian Sow. <coughs> How do you two know each other? Comment vous vous connaissez? Oh, through the music, uh, <laughs> through the same years. Same manager? Yeah, we have the same manager, but Joe and I, um, manager? Hmm? we've known each other for before the manager, Roger. For what? Before Roger started managing us, we knew each other. Mm -hmm. en fait, avant le manager, depuis, le manager, en fait, depuis très longtemps, ils se connaissent. Do you not only know that you are, I mean, <laughs> you have this, so many people in France that really are fans of you. Il y a beaucoup de gens en France qui sont fans de Tony Joe White. And there's even a fan club. Il y a même un fan club avec un petit livre qui s'appelle Swamp Box. Have you, have you, do you know this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? The Swamp Box. Number four. Yeah. Have you read it? Est-ce que vous l'avez lu? This one here, yes, I have. Okay. I have it at home, really. That's how much people like you here in France. I know. I feel good over here. This is the first place I ever had a hit record, you know, Paris. Really? Yeah, so, and to get to be here tonight. It, it's, was, uh, it's the first place you had, you had a record? Yeah. W what was that? <laughs> it was a song called Soul Francisco. It was like uh, 69, 70, even before Pope oh, Santa oh, oh. That was what, in 69? Was that? Yeah. La première fois qu'un disque de Tony Joe White est sorti en France, c'était, what was the name of it again? It was called Soul Francisco. Soul Francisco. And it's was it like good? I mean, did people buy it? Les yeah. gens ont été, uh, ont acheté beaucoup? Yeah, it was funky and people liked it. <laughs> and you recorded, <laughs> les gens ont plutôt aimé. And you, you, re you recorded in France? Is that what you said? No, I recorded it in, in Memphis, Tennessee. Ah, but, it was, but it came, it was a hit Memphis, in Tennessee. Paris. And then it came here in Paris. Yeah. Et après, c'est venu en France. Oui, arrive, je comprends à peu près tout ce qu'il dit. Il fallait une voix très... Euh, Grave, je suis pas toujours sûr. Um, um, you both have something in common besides music. You, you like fishing, right? Vous avez tous les deux un point commun à part euh, la musique, parce que la musique c'est bien beau, mais euh, c'est la fish. We never, we really get to get out together. We talk about it a lot. Uh -oh. So <laughs> you do go fishing? We je both go fishing, fishing independently. And oh, we you don't go fishing together. together. Vous n'allez pas fishing ensemble? No. Separately. We fish separate. You fish separately, you fish separately. Donc. So what do you, what do you sad, fish? Yeah. Well, I, I went up to Joe's to fish in Colorado um, back in the spring, you know? And then the snow came and it was too cold, so we decided to write a song instead of going fishing. All right. <laughs> so... Il a, ils ont quand même fait une tentative pour aller pêcher ensemble, et puis finalement, uh, Tony Joe est, est allé voir Joe dans le Colorado, et euh, le temps euh, s'y prêtait tellement pas que finalement ils ont décidé d'écrire une euh, chanson ensemble puisqu'il neigeait dehors et que la pêche était, euh, était plutôt compromis. So, uh, uh, let's talk about that song. Parlons un peu de cette chanson. It's on the album, Organic. Is that the one that you're talking about? High Lonesome Blue? Yes, yeah, the High Lonesome Blue. Chanson. And uh, it was a song that kind of started on the guitar and Joe, uh, he got some old drums together at his house and We got a little small amplifier and just kind of kept working for about three days, and the song kind of kept leading us on a path, you know. It wasn't like all of a sudden we just said, we're going to write a song. It was happenings. It, w it was what? Little happenings, you know, like from one ah, day ah, to ah. the next. Donc ils se sont retrouvés chez, euh, chez Joe, et il euh, y avait euh, de la, une batterie, et puis comme ça, euh, de manière très euh, décontractée, il y avait un ampli également, et petit à petit, comme ça, au bout de trois jours, euh, la chanson est venue euh, presque, presque toute seule, presque d'elle-même. Um, you are friends with our French star Johnny Holiday, vous êtes très potes de Johnny Holiday, but you Are, you were also very close to Joe Dassin. Vous étiez aussi très proche de Joe Dassin. You, you, you worked together at that time. Vous avez yes. travaillé ensemble même. Yes, we did a whole album uh, together. A whole album? Yeah, me and my band and Joe singing. Ils avaient fait tout un album ensemble, Tony Joe et sa bande et, et, et Joe Dassin qui, qui chantait. And et, um, Johnny Holiday did sing the song that you did with uh, Joe Dassin. Is that right? Yes, he did. Uh, it's called The Guitar Don't Lie. Uh -uh. Et Johnny Hallyday a, a fait une reprise de cette chanson qui s'appelle le, « Les guitares ne the, the guitars don't lie »,« Les guitares ne mentent pas ». Is that right? It's because « The guitar don't lie » in French, is, it's another word they say over here, but it still means « The guitar don't lie ».« The guitar don't lie », right. Do you speak French? No, just a few little words here and there. But it would be so much easier for me. Come on, speak French. I know it. I, I need to learn it, you know, because <laughs> it's beautiful. Try. You can say something. 
I'm sure. Well, je suis sûr que vous pouvez dire quelque chose en français. I mean, you've come so often. Vous êtes venu tellement souvent. I know. Well, au revoir. Ah. <laughs> au revoir. No, I'm sure you could do better than that. Je suis sûr que vous pouvez faire mieux. Just the piano two or three, but. Uh -uh. Joe, come on, a little I'm, bit I mean, God, I mean, you know, that's the, the problem with us English. We've been spoiled to death for years, haven't we? You know, so. and I actually took French in school, but nothing sank in at all. It's terrible. Okay. Te Il I a mean, pourtant étudié le, le, le français à l'école, mais rien. So I get to do all the work, right? Yes. And she's a Russian, too, too, you know. D'accord. J'ai compris. You're doing so, good, though. Thanks. So, thank you. I'm trying. Um, Joe, do you consider doing an album like work? Est-ce que vous considérez qu'un album c'est du boulot? Because considering organic, you did what in five days? L'album organic yeah. était fait en cinq jours. Well, when you know you've got players like Jim Keltner, Dean Parks, and Greg Lees. I mean, you, you know they are such talented guys that once you just Keltner, I mean, the you just have to tell them the chords and they basically wrap around it. Top, top musicien. Donc à partir de là, on peut dire que faire un album c'est plutôt facile. So that means You know, within five days, the album Organic was... Well, was we, were, we were recording four tracks a day, which by, you know, on eight-hour sessions, which is quite remarkable. Par jour. Wow. Quatre yeah. titres. Four, 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 four full songs with very, right, few, right. Very, uh -uh. very few additives, you know. Oui, quatre titres par jour avec très peu d'additifs. Like, was it what, like first shot? Est-ce que c'était une prise? Yes, in some cases, okay. first takes, because they made no mistakes, you know. Wow. Yeah. You are so pro. En fait, les musiciens ne faisaient aucune euh, erreur. Not me, Lui but the musicians. Oh, I'm sure you were, <laughs> you were good too. Et donc, en fait, ça s'est passé très, très rapidement. Tony Joe, is it so easy for you as well? Est-ce que c'est aussi facile pour vous d'enregistrer un album? I mean, five days, cinq jours. That was Joe's album, like just four days, that was it. Yeah. I've, I work that way on myself, you know, and sometimes I've, I'm real lucky with one takes and I've even had a one album one time uh, and I beat Joe's record I had a three day or Oh even better than that. Well wow. <laughs> Anthony Joe prime un peu en disant que lui il est arrivé, bon ça arrive pas à chaque fois, mais que il a réussi aussi à enregistrer But un album. But it didn't sell no records, so <laughs> Joe's Et does. Il a battu Joe en faisant trois jours, mais uh, il rajoute un peu modeste que finalement c'était pas uh, si terrible que ça. Okay, um, uh, last question. I really want to get that story straight. You, you did Pogue Salad Annie, many versions. Vous avez donc cette chanson très connue de Tony Joe White, Pogue Salad Annie, um, qui, été, qui, été, qui a été interprétée par beaucoup d'artistes, but it was written for Elvis Presley in the beginning? No. No? Who's that for? You? <laughs> yes, Who's it for in the first place? Well, I, had, I came out with Pogue Salad Annie in, uh, like, right after Paris, 69, 70, and it was a hit in America, and then... Uh, donc en fait, c'est lui qui a chanté Pogue Salad Annie, c'était en 69, c'était un grand tube aux états unis Et puis, en 73, Elvis a dit ça, et puis Johnny Holiday... Ah, 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 et seulement en 73, ça a été repris par Elvis Presley. Donc, quand Elvis a fait cette chanson, il y a une grande histoire sur... Il était à Las Vegas et il vous a invité. Quand Elvis Presley a chanté cette chanson à Las Vegas, il a invité Tony Joe. Et puis, à un moment donné, vous avez disparu. You went to the loo, and what happened then? What's the story about the, uh, th there's a whole story about that that we want to hear here. This is it's the anecdote que je the story is really encore. long, I can't, you know. Okay, well you can make it short. Je sais qu'il peut la faire rapide. Okay, it came, Ellis and his manager called and invited us and flew us to Las Vegas mm -hmm. to sing Polk Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. To sing with Elvis? No, just to watch it. Just to watch him, yeah. oui. Alors, Elvis a demandé.